All right, Coracle. Uh, let's see. To start with, a little bit about me. My name is John, also known as Hoddlebod. I have 11 to 14 years of experience in software, depending on if you count PHP. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I've been working for about a year and a half on Coracle. It's uh, yet another Noster client, and uh, but slowly I am differentiating from the pack. Um, let's see, in the past I have done two different startups. Um, the most recent one was slowly dying when I was hired, and uh, when everyone left, I was finally free to bring it to profitability, and now we've got three employees. So there's my, there's my bona fides there. Um, I also do the Thank God for Noster podcast, so listen to that if you, uh, if you want to learn about Noster. Um, all right, so as far as Coracle goes, the mission uh, or vision statement, I always get those mixed up, is uh, to build sovereign social media that supports real life relationships and communities. So this kind of comes from uh, trying to rethink a lot of the perverse incentives that exist in social media. Uh, the big E on the eye chart is obviously censorship. Uh, everyone knows that. Uh, the, the other related, uh, I don't know what's next, like A, uh, on the eye chart is, uh, is advertising and all the perverse incentives that that creates for personal privacy. Um, these are things that have been boiling for a long time. They came to a fever pitch a couple years ago, which got me into Noster. Uh, and actually I was starting, I started by trying to build my own protocol, but it's kind of a lonely project. So I, uh, hopped on board with Noster. Um, but uh, it's kind of come down in, in, in the recent past. So the, the privacy stuff is still relevant, but we have to find ways to onboard people that aren't uh, the government is coming for you. Um, so that's kind of the effort. Uh, you know, if I had to encapsulate it, I would say I want to get people off of Facebook. OK, so if you want to think about it that way, it's not a Twitter clone. It is a Facebook clone. Um, but of course, what do people use Facebook for? Uh, <laughs> not uh, not scrolling. Most people I know have a uh, browser extension installed that deletes their newsfeed because Facebook's newsfeed is cancer. What people use it for are marketplaces, calendars, groups. And groups and calendars to a less, lesser extent over time because <laughs> Facebook's network effect is weakening as people leave. Um, but marketplaces is still a big, uh, a big thing. And that's, you know, my wife is my, uh, my, my main uh, pilot customer. If I can get her on board, then I've won, I know. Uh, she stays on, on Facebook because of marketplaces and uh, the church ladies group. So that's kind of the, the lay of the land. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, and so uh, getting into Coracle a little bit, here is a picture of Noster on a normal day. Uh, you've got a user. They've got a, a key pair. The triangles there are clients. They're connected to a client. And through that client, they connect to a bunch of relays. OK, that is pretty straightforward uh, and, uh, and recognizable. Um, the difference with Coracle is that you get to draw a nice blue box around uh, part of that network infrastructure. And you know, uh, this is also kind of, um, uh, I want to differentiate this from Coracle the client. The client that I have running at coracle.social is just this. Um, what I'm building now with coracle.tools, uh, and don't go there because the website isn't directed there, but info.coracle.social is basically a platform for communities to create their own instance of Coracle. And the idea is I'm trying to get at users who have users uh, to build up kind of the Noster network effect, but also to just serve these communities. You know, kind of the end goal that I have in mind that I hope never happens is the nuclear option of my church is running a, a uh, like a Raspberry Pi or a server in their church on the local uh, internet. When you go to church, you download all the events, you go home, you sort through, the next week you go to church or during the week or something, you show up and you, you know, exchange your raw milk uh, with uh, other people who go to church. So it's basically a way to keep communities intact in the case of uh, absolute tyrannical uh, meltdown. Uh, I hope that won't happen. I don't expect it to happen, but that's kind of uh, kind of the back background. Um, so but in the meantime, it's useful, right? There are uh, 2.38 billion Christians in the world. Uh, most of them go to church. Uh, churches are have long been hubs for community activity. Um, and while not all churches are going to have appetite for this kind of thing, I've already been talking to one church in Australia who's been debanked four times, and they are getting onto a Bitcoin standard. They're getting onto a Noster standard. Uh, they're my first pilot uh, pilot customer. 
Um, so there are, and you know, churches are sized between 50 to a thousand people, right? So that's, that's a pretty big, uh, addressable market. Um, so what makes Coracle, uh, work for this? Uh, this is something I've been working on for about a year in particular is white labeling. So this is a common technique for like calendar apps so that you can send a link that has your logo on it instead of the calendar apps link. Pretty straightforward. Um, so with Coracle, you can, uh, you can change the fave icon, the logo, the color scheme, and turn a bunch of toggles on and off. So, you know, disable marketplaces or point it at your own relays. So, that, and that's what this picture is basically showing is you've got a couple different relays. Uh, let's say that the one that's not connected, that's totally private and completely gated, authenticated. Uh, there's one that's semi-public. And then you can also attach your client to some external uh, relay that's on the network. So you get this like semi-permeable, configurable barrier. And the neat thing about that is that uh, it allows you to um, sort of have these synergies between public and private. Right. And again, this is something that Facebook has done sort of well. Their barrier between public and private is a lot harder. And I think that's probably due to uh, user interface uh, or user experience kind of concerns where you don't want to have anyone accidentally publish something private. Right. So that that's going to be a big challenge for actually designing the software. But in principle, it's cool because you can basically pull content in from outside and then talk about it in a private context. Uh, so I want to explore that permeable uh, you know, kind of liminal space uh, between public and private. Um, another thing that's nice about white labeling is it's easier to monetize, even as FOSS. Coracle is completely FOSS, and thanks to open sats, uh, I've been sustained on that for the last year. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, so as far as, you know, pilot customers, uh, there's that church in Australia, and then there's also Phantom Power Music, which some of you might recognize, uh, Ainsley Costello. She's been doing a lot of value for value stuff. Um, with uh, in the music industry, which is uh, super exciting. So there's multiple ways to monetize this project, either as a software as a service for hosting kind of arbitrage, or by uh, getting in with the zaps uh, and taking a cut of that. So uh, some people are going to want one model or other. So I'm set up for both. Um, all right, let me um, go ahead and show you a quick demo here. Live demos. Scary, but necessary. All right, so this is not um, the real the real instance. Uh, I went ahead and created a local one so I didn't muck up my customers' uh, data. Um, but what you can basically do to get people started is create a invite link that points to your relay. And there's some, you know, some rough edges here, but this is something I've been working on over the course of Top Builders. Uh, so this one, you basically give it to someone, they click on it, they go to your domain, your instance with, um, with the onboarding, uh, stuff all primed and ready to go. So we'll go, I'll sign up with my name, continue. Uh, these onboarding lists are also customizable. So this, this is actually super nerdy and cool. It doesn't matter at all, but it comes from a, uh, Noster list of people of pub keys. So the client can actually curate their list in real time and change their onboarding experience. So if I click into here, I'll follow all these people. Uh, the profiles are empty because, uh, currently, well, they're only stored on the private relay, which I don't have access to yet. So chicken and egg problem that I'm going to solve at some point. So we'll continue, we'll say hello, and then it'll go straight to the invite link. Um, so that was the stock onboarding process, and now we've got an extra, an extra step. Again, some friction that needs to be worked out, um, but all you need to do is basically just click join. And in the background, that's gonna send a invite code to the relay. I've built a custom relay uh, based on some of Fiat Jaff's uh, work on Katru that will uh, intercept those codes and grant you access using an ACL. There's also, you know, you can do static PubKey whitelists, you can farm it out to a backend, um, or you can base your relay membership on uh, the membership in a private group by handing your, uh, by handing a key to the relay so it can decrypt messages and introspect them. So a lot of different ways to put this together. Um, but we'll go ahead and say we're done. And now you can see we've got some, uh, some all caps people in here. Um, and so I didn't have access to this before I clicked that join button, but now I do. Um, let's see if I can get these profiles to load. Yeah, here we go. So just got to force, force through the cashier, something to resolve. But um, 
these are all members of the uh, the relay. But then there's kind of a two tier system here. So if I go to groups, we've got someone who created a favorite socks group, and uh, I'm going to ask to join it. And I can, uh, you know, put in an invite code and request access. Uh, let's see, I don't have that account open right now, so I'll skip showing you how the access admission works. But there are some uh, some posts in this encrypted group uh, that the host can't even see. So you can have this kind of multi-tier administration system if that's something that you want. Uh, search, though, is global. So if I, if I look for my good friend uh, Pablo, F7Z, and open this up, I can look at his global posts. These are not on the relays that are configured, hard-coded in the software. And I will go ahead and quote this and just say, cool. And this, because I'm on the white-labeled instance, is going to go just to the, uh, the specific feed. So if I go to the global, uh, that'll show up. And now people can comment on that, and it's only going to go to the relay instance. Same thing for the encrypted groups. So you've got this, this multi-tier system going. So um, let's see, you know, uh, the cool thing with uh, Noster, like, because, you know, why, why do this on Noster? Why not just uh, fork Mastodon or Pleroma or, you know, make a regular Web2 sort of thing like BuddyPress or whatever? Um, users remain sovereign. So the data is still on these relays, but the users can download it at any time, create a backup. They can add their own relay that is a, is a backup relay. And so they get to keep their, uh, their social graph um, if they want to move away. They get to keep their content if they want to move away. So again, like the synergy of pr public and private on Noster, just because of the cryptographic uh, signatures primitive, uh, creates some really interesting uh, possible configurations for putting a product like this together. Uh, I have not explored the design space by any stretch. Uh, there's all kinds of unknowns and interesting ideas that are uh, still waiting to be found. But that's kind of where I'm at. And uh, just to give you an idea of the timeline, I released the first version of these groups in January, and I've been refining that ever since. Uh, right now, Marketplace is disabled, because uh, I was showing off the end variable, which in retrospect is maybe a mistake. But there's a calendar, and there's a Marketplace, which is interoperable with uh, what Shopster is going to present here in a few minutes. So that's cool, too. Um, and uh, that is pretty much what I've got. So thank you.